welcome to my channel, Freedom Mobile Living. My name is Angelo Darren. I'm right here in Grand Rapids, Michigan at the McKay Tower. I arrived here approximately about two weeks ago. I came from Yuma, went all the way to Grand Rapids. When I went to Grand Rapids, I had to open up the platform. So I had to check first how ride share is. I had to check the delivery uh, market in this area and see exactly what the economy was like before I decided to open up the Ride Local platform. Stick with me because I'm going to show you exactly what I did and what we're going to do in the future. can't guess what I'm doing right now, that's right. Um, doing a ride for Ride Local and then I have two deliveries that are scheduled. So that's how easy it is to make money. It's just uh, something that you end up building on your own platform and uh, you determine how much you want to make each week and how much you want to work. Now you get to, you start asking yourself, okay, what's this all about? What it's all about is having a platform of apps that produce income streams and then to take each one and manage them to the fact where I can find out what's the most profitable one that I can work with uh, and so those are the ones I do now ride local platform gives you 100% of the fares gives you 100% of the tips and the delivery fees and what's the catch of it is right now we're offering a special where there's no licensing fee whatsoever we we're wavering all the licensing fees for a new driver sign up that means uh you you get the driver uh, background check or you get you get uh, the stencil that goes into your window of ride local so we give you a starter package to get you to start driving the whole premise of it we're we're the only ones that really that you can go up to our car and download the qr code and then take a ride immediately. You don't necessarily have to have our app to take a ride. So sometimes we're sitting and we have uh, we have like streaming lights that tell people you need a ride, need delivery. And at that time, you know, we position ourselves in position in areas where people are looking for rides. That's how we gain our ridership. So as a business owner, being a driver, I'm looking for quality riders. But I'm also looking for somebody that uh, needs a personal driver, needs somebody that not only wants to shop for them or deliver food to them, but also wants to take a ride. See, everybody can still have fun. It's one thing about this life when I started it, it started to have fun. Subscribe below and hit the notification bell so you'll be alerted of every new video I come out with. Now you say to yourself, well, I don't really want to build a business. But anything anything you do in life is a business. You work at a job, it's a business. You, uh, you work at a part-time job, it's a business. What we're talking about is taking your income, increasing your income, solidifying it by making it yours, your own. So once you get a writer, it becomes your writer, and then you just build on that. So when I was in Yuma, what had normally happened the first week, I got a couple writers, and then it just kind of mushroomed from that point. Uh, I've, I have cards that I put out as well. So I do some advertising as well, and I'll put out these cards, and I'll hang them in a laundry mat, I'll hang them in areas where people are looking for rides. Uh, I do it uh, in also establishments. Restaurants, some people are looking for rides or they need a ride somewhere. Hotels are a good place too. So what we don't leave you once you sign up. When you sign up, you become part of a team. So you're independent business, but it's a network of drivers. So together we're strong. So in unity, we have our strength within the Ride Local platform. If you want us to go ahead and sign up, you can do that uh, just by going on the website and then uh, there's a there's a, a little form you fill out. We just want some information as far as your background, what you're looking for. And then from that, we can start setting up your profile and then run your background check and then get everything going.
So the sooner you can get it going, the quicker you make money. So do you have to do it full time? No. Uh, down in Yuma, I did it full time, but to me, full time was 20, 25 hours a week, and I made anywhere from 12 to 1400 dollars a week. Not on the Ride Local platform only. Ride Local, I was making, uh, but generally about six to eight hundred dollars a week, which was quite a bit. So I, in reality, uh, if I wasn't trying to look at the markets and push the envelope a little bit, I could have, I could have just lived with that because that's enough income. Since my income is so low, I've reduced my income tremendously, not only to pay off my debts, but also to live better where I have a lot more money than I have going out. So, and that's really the premise of my living right now. And if you want to know more about there, I do have videos dealing with how I live in an SUV. And some people, when they first hear it, they think I'm crazy. Oh, he's probably broke, he don't have no money. That's further thing from the truth. The whole thing is, is to reduce my overhead, Reduce my anxiety, because we know we have anxiety. Every time we pay rent, we have anxiety. And to maintain income or increase it. So I've never been the type to just not work. I enjoy working, I, I enjoy creating. Um, I still have the Green Code 2 air duct and carpet cleaning business. Uh, I thought I had a, a, a buyer, but then uh, it didn't pan out. Uh, they didn't uh, have enough of the down payment that we wanted. So I decided to keep it and just use it as an income producer. We do it in Michigan. We brought it down last year in Arizona and we did pretty good for the first year. And uh, this, even up to this day, we still get phone calls from down there or people asking us when we're coming back. So our plan is to take Green Co 2 air duct and carpet cleaning back down to Yuma and then see what we can get to that. But to look at Green Co 2 as an income producing stream you know, just like I do with the Ride Local app or any other app I use. I've done Instacart, DoorDash, all of them. But any one I use, I just use it as an income producing. So if I get five of them or one of them or two of them and I can produce a decent income, that's what I'm looking for. So sometimes it takes one app, sometimes it takes three, four, depending. If When I first started, I had multiple apps because I was trying to find my, my niche, kind of like what I felt I enjoyed and what it was good for me as far as profitability. So signing up is just the first stage. The second of it is how much you want to make a week. We'll backtrack that and show you exactly how many riders you need. Because we pay 100% fares and delivery fees um, and there's no cost to it whatsoever, you make a lot more. So as far as uh, ride local, and I told you I had one rider for 600, never in the history of Uber and Lyft, I believe it's ever been a driver that had uh, consistently $600 a week coming in for what was it, like seven months, in the winter months down in uh, Yuma. So if you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe below because we, I do like subscribers. Just like any YouTube channel, we like subscribers. I've always believed there's a difference between reality and perception. And a lot of times is what we perceive things is really what our reality is. So a lot of times is people look at me and they say oh man you own green code too you got to ride local you're doing these apps we see you, you you know videos man you don't need nothing you got it all well i don't got it all uh, uh, i don't i'm just uh, just like everybody else i live uh, income to income i have more income than i have debt now uh since last year of august 2020 I'm fortunate for that. Every day I wake up, I'm happy, I'm excited. Uh, before, when I was living in the sticks and bricks in a, or an apartment or anything like that, I never felt that way. I felt trapped. So as long as I feel the way I do, I'm gonna continue to do what I, I do. My next move is to help people make income as much as possible. So even though I might make income based on my apps that I do and based on the things I do, like Green Code 2, it all goes into a business. Like Green Code 2, just because it's made of air duct cleaning, and uh, a lot of times we'll do air duct with carpets, and the total amount will be anywhere from $800 to $1,200. Well, when it gets to that level, uh, you also have overhead. You have employees, you have expenses, and so on. You got gas, you got vehicle payments, you got insurance, you got liability. So there's a lot of costs associated to it. And then from that, I take an income, my partner takes an income, which would be my, my mine and her income stream. And then the rest goes into Green Code 2 to build the business. 
uh, cause it has its own debt. It also has to build, have the business in order to do ads, in order to do future business or new business in the future. We rely on our 2,200 customers, which we are thankful for very much so. They're loyal. Uh, they've been really our mainstay in Grand Rapids. Uh, but we add new ones by doing Google ad search and stuff like that. So we do spend money within the company in order to keep it going. And then I think about the other income streams I have, it's like the Ride Local. If I can get that up and running, things will be a lot better because I could be more of a managing the business. We put a lot of money into building the app, uh, the IT people and the development to code it. Uh, we have it up and running right now. Things are going really good. So I'm looking for it to open fully in Grand Rapids and then for us to really be open in Grand Rapids and Yuma, Arizona, and maybe the future. I have had people ask for Clearwater, Florida. I've had people uh, from Cottonwood, Arizona, uh, as far as even up in Connecticut. So maybe we'll open up other cities. Uh, we have to take a look at how that will look. But uh, if anybody's interested and you're, you're watching this, you're in a different city, we need awareness. We need drivers. So in order to open a city, we need someone to handle the riders and the deliveries the shopping. So if you're interested in something that could be really big and something that you could be from the ground floor within your city, contact me personally at adarren at greenco2, that's number two, dot org. And, and I'll be happy to answer any questions and maybe uh, make you part of our future plans. And uh, I do about one a week. It's hard to do, especially with the workload that I do. And I'm thinking maybe in the future as things start opening up, it will free me up more time while I have more time to do more videos. So if there's any type of topic you'd like me to cover or something that you, you would like me to go in more in detail, Reach out to me in the comments below, and uh, I'll go ahead and do what I can to bring that to fruition. All right, folks, thanks for watching, and thanks for sticking with me. All right, bye-bye. But if you like what you see in this video, and you're looking to not only reduce your debt, but you're also looking to increase your income, I ask that you subscribe below and hit the notification bell, and that way I'll notify you every time a video comes out.